Where did you want to go? Uh, how you doing? Yeah. Any of you Jewish by any chance? Yes. Any of you Jewish by any chance? Woo! Tava, Mazel Tava, Mazel Tava. Are you Jewish? Hey! Hey, hey good to see you. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom this week from the Grand Canyon with our friends all the way from Florida. Yeah. So tell me, what do you think is so amazing about the Grand Canyon? Um, it's just something that's bigger than any one person can be. You know, it's something that we can't explain and wow. and you just get to experience the peace. Bigger than us. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's profound. What do you think? The view. The view. It brings so many different people together from all over the world. Here we are, my friends, at the Grand Canyon, together with my colleague, Rabbi Mati, from Chabad of Oregon. And here I am, all the way from Kansas, to give you a Shabbat message. But this week, I want to ask you the same question that I asked my dear but, friends. But I'm going to cut you short. Oh, that's what rabbis do. Because I think that was awesome. You said they gave you a bigger view of life. Bigger view of life. You know what I was thinking, Rabbi yeah. Mati? Why do so many people from all over the world come here to see the Grand Canyon? I think that's what he said. Do you know what I think? Because of the view. And you know what else? <laughs> you know what else? Because I think that people today in 2019 are craving space. We could live in the most beautiful towns and villages and homes and apartments. We could have the most beautiful parks in our backyard. But the challenge is that we always feel like we're in a narrow strait. We always feel like we're in a tight spot. And people want to get on a plane and come here for one reason. Just to look out and see open space. Because we live in a world that's full of boxes. Everybody creates a box around themselves. I'm a Jew, I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm more observant, I'm reform, I'm conservative, I'm a liberal Jew from Oregon, I'm a very conservative Jew from Kansas, all kinds of boxes. Just some like people you. like a box like they can't get down the hill type of box. And, and, and you know what really bothers yeah. me? That just now I was walking down this hill with my colleague from Oregon and he's telling me another mile, another mile. I'm like, no, I'm in a box. I'm only doing one mile and not one foot more. You're in the Kansas box. I'm in, in the Oregon, Kansas in Oregon, box. Oregon, this is like, you know, exactly. you're in the hiking box. And one day my wife took me to a big store and sat outside the container store. And she said, stop with your boxes. Climb out. Open up. Look at the beautiful view. And this is my Shabbat Shalom message to you. Go that extra mile. Climb out of your box. And recognize that the more pr brave you're willing to be, the more miles you're willing to climb, and the more boxes and stereotypes you're willing to break, the more of a greater world we will have. So one, two, three, Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom! Shalom.